In the early 2000s, Richard Smalley, a Nobel laureate in chemistry, listed water and energy as the two most important problems facing humanity in the next 50 years. My research serves to address, even if in a small way, these two very real problems. Now, when you read my title, you may have thought, Greg, we already have this kind of technology. It's called the solar cell. However, technology I'm referring to is something a little different. I'm using something called a photocatalyst to not only draw energy from the sun, like a solar cell, but also clean wastewater at the same time. But what is a photocatalyst? As its name implies, a photocatalyst uses light, or photons, to drive a chemical reaction, like a catalyst. The photocatalyst is an example of a material that can use renewable energy to power a green technology. Consider a roller coaster. If you have ever been on one, you know that energy is required to pull the roller coaster car to the top of the first hill. But after that, gravity takes over, your coaster zooms down the hill, and you can enjoy the rest of your ride. See, in this illustration, the first hill is the photocatalyst, the roller coaster car is an electron, and the rest of the track is the chemical reaction. Energy, such as sunlight, can be absorbed by the electron to get it to the top of the photocatalyst hill. And if your hill is tall enough, the electron will have enough energy to complete the track, or the reaction. Therefore, in general, a more complex reaction requires a taller photocatalyst, which in turn requires stronger sunlight. So how does my thesis fit into all of this? Well, I'm in the business of designing chemical roller coasters. I've learned that when properly designed, photocatalyst devices can use wastewater and the power of the sun to perform three simultaneous reactions clean wastewater, generate electricity, and even create hydrogen fuel, which can be used to power fuel cells. And the amazing thing about photocatalysts is that they're not picky when it comes to that wastewater. Industrial organic waste, drugs you throw down your toilet, human sweat, all of these things can be used as fuel. My main focus is on improving photocatalysts by making them more conductive and more sensitive to sunlight. For example, I can combine titanium dioxide found in paints and sunscreens and the miracle material graphene to create a conductive, light-sensitive photocatalyst. I can then dump that in wastewater, walk outside, and determine how well it performs using the sun in converting that wastewater into clean water and electricity. No other energy sources required. Wouldn't it be incredible if the very act of cleaning up our sewage or making water drinkable again also provided us with free electricity and fuel? See, right now it sounds like a dream, but with work like mine in the area of photocatalysts, it can hopefully become a reality. Thank you.